their panties in the wad when when um it was addressed that possibly forty five was hiding something, which we know he is. He's hiding. He's hiding. The, he's covering up his crimes and hiding the evidence for that. White House aides sought to de- to clarify forty five's comment this week that he and aides have all the material in the impeachment case. A suggestion critics took to mean that forty five was hiding evidence from investigators, which he is. Uh, Hogan Gidley, who bounces up and down on Donald's dick, said that that's a ridiculous allegation. Adding that forty five was saying the evidence is all on our side. Um, which um, yeah, you might have evidence on your side, but that means you're covering up shit. <coughs> <coughs> During the economic conference in Davos, Switzerland, where 45 told a whole bunch of damn lies, 45 condemned the House impeachment managers and praised his attorneys for saying, I thought our team did a very good job, which they didn't. But honestly, we have all the material. They don't have shit. Democrats have material. They, they basically have almost every damn one of your crimes that I know about. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said Tuesday, I mean Thursday, that GOP senators dismiss, um, dismissive claim that they're hearing to um, they're hearing no new material during 45's and future trial rings were very very hollow considering their block and Democratic efforts to call more witnesses and request documents. The same Republicans saying that they heard nothing new just voted nine times on Tuesday to hear nothing new. Senator Democratic um, said Schumer, Dem- who's a Democrat from New York, told reporters during a pre-trial news conference if they want new stuff, there's plenty of it. Schumer was referring to the amendments in, that Democrats offered during the first day of the trial to allow certain witnesses and records pertaining to the impeachment investigation that they are not part of the House's case. All of the amendments were defeated on a strict party line vote in the Republican control chamber, though they cannot be taken up they c- they could be taken up again later on at a later time. Mm-hmm. Democrats have pointed to forty five remarks that, that, that we have all the material and the Democrats said that they that the Republicans and forty five do not have any material at all, which they don't. Um, Hogan Gidley, a White House, a, a, a guy that bounces up and on, on, up and down on forty five, Dick said forty five wasn't bragging about withholding documents from Democrats. Yes, he was. As some lawmakers have said, what the squatter was clearly saying was that the, that the evidence was all on our side. Get, um, Gidley said, still the same fucking thing. If if you have evidence, that means you're hiding shit. Several GOP senators, including. Ted Cruz, who's a Republican from Texas, John Barrasso, a Republican from Wyoming, and John Cornyn, a Republican from Texas, on Wednesday bemoaned the repetitive nature of the Democrats' case during nearly eight hours of, of arguments. Said um, Senator Tim Scott, who's a Republican from South Carolina, called it a rehashing of Tuesday's charade. Schumer and other Democrats already shot down a rumor proposal to allow 45's former National Security Advisor John Bolton to testify if Joe Biden's son Hunter could as well. Democrats see Bolton as someone who could help make the case that 45 engaged in a quid pro quo with Ukraine. Um, Republicans say say um say Joe Bi- Hunter Biden would be forced to answer pointed questions about his role in the board of the Ukrainian energy company to the impeachment inquiry, and technically it's not relevant because he didn't do anything wrong, as they already determined. I mean, for them, for Hunter Biden anyway. Representative Adam Schiff, who was leading the impeachment arguments during the Senate trial, got kudos from an unlikely source, Senator. Um, Lindsey Dumbass Graham, good job today, very well spoken. Graham, the South Carolina Republican, told Schiff the Carolina Democrat late Wednesday during an impromptu meeting between the two near the elevators outside the Senate chamber. Schiff and his fellow, Republic, fellow House managers had just wrapped up nearly eight hours of, of arguments when the exchange happened and the two shook hands. It seemed an unlikely moment given how fierce both had been regarding the impeachment process. Schiff, the House Intelligence Committee chairman, had just been on the floor calling 45's pressure campaign on Ukraine a gross abuse of power, which it was. Graham, a tenacious, 40, a, 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 a tenacious guy who bounces up and down on Donald's dick, had encouraged the squatter earlier in the day not to cooperate with Schiff, saying, I wouldn't give, the, give them the time of day. When they're not stuck in their seat, stuck in their seat at the impeachment trial of 45, senators will have the chance to reveal classified testimony from an assistant to Vice President and Brad Mike Pence that Democrats have, have unsuccessfully tried to make public. After Senate Republicans rejected an attempt um, an attempt Tuesday to allow the Senate to receive classified information into evidence, Chief Justice John Roberts late Wednesday announced an agreement to allow classified information into the record. Senators will have to review it in a secure meeting. The information is part of of a description of Pence's September 18th call with Ukrainian President Zelensky given to the committee by Jennifer Williams, a former um, a foreign policy advisor to inbred Pence. Democrats argued that testimony is corroborating evidence and there is no reason it shouldn't be classi- that it should be classified. Jennifer Williams has classified information to share with you that I hope you will take a look at because it's relevant to these issues, House, impe- House Impeachment Manager Adam Schiff said. And Brad Pence's office um, previously refused documents 
I refused a Democrat's request to, de to declassify the information, saying on December 11th, uh, in the December 7th letter, the 11th letter that it would serve no purpose. This, cla this call was classified when it occurred, Pence spokesperson Katie Waldman tweeted Wednesday night. House Democrats knew the call was classified when they allowed when they allowed and asked Jennifer Williams to discuss a classified call in an unclassified setting. They are now trying to cover their tracks. Pence and Brad Pence had previously said he had no problem with the White House releasing transcripts of his conversation with Zelensky. Back at the White House after an overseas trip, 45 didn't waste much time before attacking Democratic prosecutors at the Senate impeachment trial. The Democrats are trying hard to damage Republicans prior to the election. We don't. Ha uh, the Democrats don't have to damage the Republicans. The Republicans are perfectly capable of damaging themselves and fucking themselves up. Uh, 45 said during an, in an early morning tweet storm aimed at opponents who have accused him of, of abusing his power. 45 also cited pundits who attacked the process, including conservative radio talk show host Rush Limbaugh, another inbreeding redneck, and singled out Representative Adam Adam Schiff, Democrat from California, the lead House um, patient manager of Shifty Schiff. Yeah, like like he's like yeah. People he gets pissed off when people call him call him names, but then he's allowed to do it back. I said that doesn't work that way. The squatter who spent the last two days at an international economic um, conference in Davos, Switzerland, where he told a whole bunch of fucking lies, has no public events scheduled for today. After a series of private meetings, the White House for at the uh, uh, um. Uh, after a series of meetings, um, private meetings at the White House, the 45 leaves at midday for a trip to Miami. That's probably where he's probably going to be golfing out there if he's going to Miami, Florida. He's scheduled to have, have a closed door meeting um, to the Republican National Committee, which is holding its winter meeting at the, at the 45 National Golf Resort. Yep, so that means he's going to be golfing this weekend. 45 is also expected to watch parts of the impeachment trial on, t on TV. House Democrats will continue detailing their case against 45 as the Senate impeachment trial resumes today and are expected to focus on the Constitution and, um, and the legal grounds of the squatter's removal. The seven prosecutors who were called managers spoke for eight hours Wednesday mostly about the article accusing 45 of abuse of power. They chronicled their, they chronicled their evidence about 45 pressuring Ukraine to investigate his political rival, former Vice President Joe Biden, while withholding $391 million in military aid. I think it's a, a he's like, I think it's a strong gross abuse of, abuse of power, said the, said the lead manager, intelligence chairman, Adam Schiff, Democrat from California, and I don't think that the patriot power is relic. If it is a relic, I wonder how much longer a republic, a republic, the a republic can succeed as a nation. On Thursday, the group is expected to focus on the Constitution and lay out the legal framework that they say merits 45's removal from office. Schiff said the group would apply the facts to the law as it relates to the squatter's abuse of power. The seven managers will have up to 24 hours spread over three sessions to make their arguments. Then 45's defense team, which is led by White House counsel Pat Cipollone and private lawyer Jay Sukolo, will have up to 24 hours over three sessions to rebut their charges or make their arguments. Sukolo told reporters that the defense lawyers during their turn would first would first respond to the House charges and then we are going to make an affirmative case defending the squatter. After hearing the opening argument, senators will have up to 16 hours to pose written questions to both sides through Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts, who was presiding. As the arguments got underway, 45 spent Tuesday and Wednesday in an economic conference in Davos, Washington, like I said, where he was telling a whole bunch of fucking lies, but he will be in Washington Thursday as the trial con um, continues. 45 criticized the trial and called two of the managers, Schiff and Judiciary, um, Judiciary Chairman Jared Nadler, um, Democrat from New York, Major Sleesbeck. Um, um, let's see. Um, 45 is a fucking sleazebag. Don't get that. Don't, um, don't. I said he's trying to reverse it on them that they're sleazebags, but 45 is the major, is the biggest fucking sleazebag I ever know. He, he called the patron a total hoax and a disgrace. 45 is a disgrace. But he, but um but but the impeachment hearing isn't a hoax. But forty five is a fucking clown. But they talked about the tremendous case, and they have no case. Forty five said yes. To, yes, the Democrats have a case against you. They're exposing your fucking crime. So get fucking used to it. Schiff summarized the case over about two hours Wednesday by offering a chronology of the events, documents, and testimony that the inquiry collected. Judiciary Chairman Jared Nadler. Uh, the, uh, the Democrat from New York described how 45's personal lawyer Rudy um, Dumbass Giuliani smeared Marie Yanonovich, the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, before the squatter removed her. Democrats argued that her removal opened the door to pressuring Ukraine to investigate Biden and his son Hunter, who works for a ga for a Ukraine gas company, and they already pro and it's already been proven that Hunter Biden and Joe Biden did not do anything wrong. It is beyond argument that 45 mounted a sustained pressure campaign to get Ukraine to announce investigations that would b benefit him politically and then cover it up, Nadler said. 
Representative Silvio, Silvio, Silvio Garcia, a Democrat from Texas, highlighted how dumbass Giuliani's push for investigations benefited Fortify personally rather than the national interest. Giuliani admitted that he was asking Ukraine to work on investigations that would be very, very helpful to the squatter, Garcia said. Representative Jason Crow, a former army ranger, focused on the suspension of military aid for Ukraine while at war with Russia. Ukrainian soldiers remaining the front lines against Russian-backed forces illegally occupying their country, said, said Crow, who's a Democrat from California. Representative De Val Demons, who's a Democrat from Florida, described how White House officials dangled the opportunity for Ukraine um, President Zelensky to visit the White House if he had announced investigations into the Bidens. But former National Security Advisor um, John Bolton opposed the exchange, deriding it as a drug deal c cooked by Gordon Sondland, the U.S. Ambassador to the European Nation and acting White House Chief of Staff McManey. Deming said, Dumbass Giuliani became an inescapable presence to both Ukrainian officials and the American diplomats. Um, Deming said, Representative Hakeem Jeffries, who's a Democrat from New York, went by went line by line through the summary of 45 of 40 of 45 July 25th call with Zelensky when the squatter asked his counterpart to investigate the Biden's these were to live in infamy Jeff, Jeffrey said of 45 asking for a favor representative Zolofgren a Democrat from California walked through the lack of public explanation for why the administration suspended military aid for Ukraine or for or for why it was released or why it was released on September 11th nothing to justify the squatter's change in the in derision except Except that he got caught, Lofgren said. Yep, so 45's crimes are being exposed and there's nothing he can do about it. He can be, he can piss bitch him on all he wants. His crimes are being uncovered.